Here's how to add Optifine 1.21.7 to Minecraft. Let's go. The first step to install Optifine is to click the second link in the description. I'll put you in this quick article in here that it's optional to read in case I go too fast in this video. But if you want to go straight to the point, just go down to the step one in here and press on the Optifine button. That is going to redirect you to the Optifine site where you should see 1.21.7. And if you already see a download button like this one right here for 1.21.7, go ahead and press it. If not, you could press on preview versions and then you could go ahead and press mirror right here to skip the ad. If you press download, you're going to have to watch an ad. But once you press mirror, that is going to put you right here and you're going to hit download one more time and the download will begin for the Optifine installer. And I want you to go ahead and place that file in your desktop. You can find that file here on your recent download history or within the default downloads folder of your computer. Now, once you see that file, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop and we are kind of ready to begin. Now, the first thing you want to do is close your Minecraft game as well as your Minecraft launcher and make sure that you have played Minecraft 1.21.7 at least once on your computer and then double click on Optifine. That is going to open this installer right here. And by the way, if the installer doesn't open, don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to fix that in a second. But once the installer does open, go ahead and hit install right here. And like I was saying, if the installer doesn't open, that's because you don't have Java 21 and Java 21 is a requirement for modding Minecraft 1.21.7. So I'll leave you this article in the description where you could just download Java, click next a couple of times, and then you'll be able to open the installer of Optifine. Now, once Optifine has finished installing, go ahead and press OK in here. You can now even delete the Optifine file from your desktop since you don't need it anymore. Now it's time to add shaders and to use Optifine. For that, go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. And when you open the Minecraft launcher, if you install Optifine properly, it should be selected here automatically and you could also find it under installations as long as you have modded selected. If Optifine still doesn't come up, press on new installation and add Optifine as the version you're running. Now, once you see Optifine here, go ahead and hit play. You might get this prompt in here, read through it and if you agree, hit understand and then hit play one more time. Now, I'll also leave you guys in the description of this video, this article in here, which goes over our top 10 best free shaders for Minecraft. In case you want to add some shaders to Optifine, you could just download them from this site. Now, once your game opens, just go ahead and launch a single player world and inside the world, if you press escape, you head over to options and you head over to video settings, you will see that you now have Optifine down here and you also have this menu has completely changed. You have performance, you have quality, you could change things around in here as you like to get better performance. But you also have the shaders option, which you could go ahead and press. And now you can select shaders from here that you want to run with Optifine. And like I said, if you don't have any other shaders in here or if you don't have any shaders, you could go ahead and download them from that article in here that I left you in the description and add them into Optifine over here. Now to run a shader, just go ahead and select it and hit apply. And if you still don't see the apply option, that's because Optifine is on the preview stage. But this is how the game looks with shaders and obviously Optifine also improves a lot your performance so you can now get more FPS with Minecraft. Anyways guys, that is how to install Optifine 1.21.7. If this video helped you out, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.